Hello everyone and welcome on a new episode in today's analysis. Now, on the 23rd episode, we are going to analyze none other than Ben Gates, the main protagonist of the National Treasure franchise. National Treasure is often praised as one of the best movies ever made, and while Ben Gates isn't as iconic as Nick's Indiana Jones or Lara Croft, it is no doubt that Nicolas Cage has done a fantastic job to portray the character. In this episode, I am going to analyze all the information given about him from both the 2004 film National Treasure and the 2007 sequel National Treasure, The Book of Secrets, and together we are going to analyze Bengi's journey from a simple child close to his grandfather to a great archaeologist and treasure hunter. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Benjamin Franklin Gates was born in May 1965 in Washington, D.C. To his parents, Patrick Henry Gates and his mother, Emily Appleton Gates, and he is obviously the was named after the founding father and scientist, Benjamin Franklin and from an early age he was known to be close with his grandfather, given the fact that he too was passionate by treasure hunters, like in 1974, when his grandfather tells him a story about the Freemason's treasure, and about how the founding fathers buried the treasure in the United States after the American Revolution. This story, and his relationship with his grandfather, was much closer than that with his father, and ultimately what led to him to become the treasure hunter that he ultimately was. As 30 years later, in 2004, he, can start, he starts his search in finding the lost treasure of the Freemasons. Racing against the treasure hunter, Nayan Ho, ultimately Ben managed to, offic- to find the treasure and ultimately proves himself to his father that he actually is a treasure hunter, just like how his grandfather he believed that he would be, and Yan was ultimately arrested by the FBI. Ultimately, Ben was forgiven for stealing the Declaration of Independence. And now, three years later, in 2007, he began his quest to find the lost city of gold, El Dorado, while also racing against another treasure hunter, Mitchell Wickinson, who also was sent to find the El Dorado in order to leave his mark upon history. And in this journey, also Ben wants to prove that his ancestor, Thomas Gates, was never part of the plot to assassinate Abraham Lincoln in 1865. Now, before I go any further, we all should ask ourselves, is Ben Gates good? And no, I don't mean good at treasure hunting, but I simply mean good as a person. As Ben Gates, throughout the films, also did some morally ambiguous actions, such as stealing the Declaration of Independence in the first film, and later kidnapping the US President in the second film. But ultimately, he is nothing more but a good person who protects his loved ones and seeks to uphold the values of history. As he returned back the Declaration in the first film, and he apologized to the President and the President and granted him amnesty in the second film, as he did everything he did only in the name of the greater good. So yes, Ben Gates is actually good, and upon succeeding finding El Dorado and clear his ancestor's name, and eventually defeating Mitchell Wickinson. So in the end, who is Ben Gates? He's nothing more but a simple treasure hunter that seeks to hold his mark upon history. A treasure hunter that seeks to benefit everyone and to protect his loved ones from harm. And a treasure hunter that could be argued to be one of the best and the greatest explorers of all time. Thank you all for tuning this new episode in today's analysis. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe everyone. And happy holidays. So, uh, the tea tables. Yes, I'm going to have the movers bring them to you next week. Actually, I was going to say you can keep them. And maybe you could come and move back in with me? No, you use the word so. So? So when you say so, it means you're angry. Sometimes. And then sometimes it doesn't. It's sort of like a puzzle. And you're so good at puzzles, I'm sure you'll figure it out.